Welcome to the Inspired with Nika Lori podcast. Sort of on topic, but it, it sparked a, a thought I had. So I had a conversation with someone the other day about the Kardashians. And the, the person I was speaking to dismissed the Kardashians as in like, oh, those dumb girls doing their dumb TV show. And mm. I, I stopped them in the, their tracks and I had a pretty blunt conversation with them saying, these are women that have created multi-million, multi-billion dollar companies pretty much from scratch. They had a little bit of a name, but you know, they, they built out these huge companies They've had to deal with the onslaught of people saying things about their bodies and about how they look and how they dress and different entities in that sense. And they've had to deal with a lot more than, say, someone like Elon Musk or Bill Gates has had to deal with in the sense of their private life, right? And nobody's celebrating their successes as females that have built literally billion-dollar companies, Um from scratch really. And so it was an interesting, once I said that to the person, they were like, Oh, like I'd never, they'd never thought about it that way. And so I think, Mm -hmm. you know, it it just makes me think about those blind spots that we have because we've been ingrained in this patriarchal society about Mm. how things are and how men are successful and women are items or, you know, that's a pretty generic thing term. Right. But like that, it was just a good example that I, that I had experienced and had this conversation with. And so I think it, it's interesting because the person I was speaking to about it is one of the like kindest, most like sweet per- people ever. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they don't try to hurt anybody kind of thing. And they yeah. still had this bias built into them. Mm, yeah. And that actually reminds me of um, a couple of things that one of my mentors, Kelly Deals, um, who is a feminist copywriter and a feminist marketing um, educator and coach, uh, she says two things that I think are very relevant to this like this like uh, conversation that we're having around the Kardashians or around our biases. The first is that we all we're all in the water, so we're all wet. Mm-hmm. And what mm-hmm. she means by that is like we all live in the system. So this person that you were talking with. Uh, clearly, even though they are a kind, loving, generous person, it sounds like, um, they have these biases and they have been conditioned to judge certain people um, based on the way that society says we're supposed to judge people. Exactly. And then on the Mm -hmm. other side of this, right? Like you are so right. I'm also someone who is quick to judge the Kardashians. I will (laughs) be totally honest. Um, (laughs) And I think that the... Like what I want to say here is that like, yes, the Kardashians are probably judged unfairly because they're women, because their bodies have been sexualized because of, right. There are many reasons why people are judging, um, the Kardashian, the women Kardashians. Um, and also I think it's really important for us to acknowledge that just because I am a woman doesn't mean that I can't also perpetuate the patriarchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like, as just because I'm like, I, I am as a woman and you and any of the women who are listening to this, we are oppressed by the patriarchy. And also often unintentionally, we are upholding the values that patriarchy has taught us. And this is like when we internalize patriarchal values, patriarchal norms. So like on one hand, yeah, I love what you're saying about the Kardashians. Um, you know, being held to a different standard than perhaps some of these cis het white men who are multi-billionaires. And also they yeah. are still <laughs> contributing to a culture that dehumanizes and relies on unpaid labor and right. Like, and, and, and yeah. So like, I, I really appreciate that nuance. And I think that like, that's when we open up that can of nuance. There's so much there. Yeah. I I mean, I definitely agree with you that it's, it's and right. Cause I definitely (laughs) see the other side of like, you know, they're, they're also causing or, you know, keeping to the, keeping to the norm of sexualizing women. And, you know, there's a lot of conversation about labor and those kind of things too. So I definitely hear the and, But there is also, they haven't been credited for what they have done because they are female, right? And so I agree with you. There's so much nuance to it. And it becomes a very large Pandora's box that in the sense, once you get into that conversation, um, but it's a, 
but I think it's an eye-opening spot to at least bring light to where these situations are happening and how to have mm. those kind of conversations. Totally. And one of the other things that I just want to name here, because I said there was two things that my mentor Kelly Deals talks about. The other one is that in these situations, it can be really helpful to name patterns and not people. Yes. Because mm -hmm. by naming the Kardashians, we are like bringing in all of our preconceived notions, right? And like, obviously it sounds like in the conversation that you had, like it was already about the Kardashians. And so we saw Kardashian like, commercial, like it was totally, specific. Wait, yeah, totally. <laughs> but like, yeah. I could, I could create some content around that and I could post that online. And instead of saying like the Kardashians, I could say like, I could just have the conversation about women and men. Right. And I can just pull back a little bit and that sort of reduces the charge and like lets people come to these conversations with slightly less bias, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree. Definitely. Definitely.